me that Biden's policies on the southern border are actually creating American or slaves from around the globe. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. So, so the Democrats who accuse us of all the awful things that we do, they're actually enforcing policies now that are creating slaves in this country. It's lending to that right now. So not only are they creating slaves, but I also heard, and, and this, I found this rather intriguing when I was on the border, if somebody was coming across the border and they actually didn't have the money and they didn't want to be an indentured servant, is it true that they can backpack now heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine and pay that passage? Is that an option as well? That, that is an option. So, so the Democrats' policies, two things now, so they're creating slaves and drug mules, is that where we're going with this? No wonder they don't want to come talk about it, right? So, so we, now that we've got this, this issue of slaves and drug mules, I want to change over a little something I saw. And you guys, this is, this is troubling to me. Is I went to Fort Bliss, the emergency intake center. You guys heard of this? Fort Bliss. To handle all the unaccompanied minors coming to this country. And as I was there, we, the admiral's running it, and I'm like, uh, sir, why don't, why don't we send these kids, these are unaccompanied minors now back to their home country, back to their town. And the admiral said, well, they, they don't know where they came from. So these kids were from, I, you know, I saw one, I, I know he's probably no more than five, and I saw some probably, the average was 16, 17 year olds. So they're saying these kids, these unaccompanied minors, do not know where they came from. I said, well, where are we going to send them to? Oh, we're going to send them to a Google address in the United States of America. To, and we, then we don't background check the people we're sending them to. So one of my friends here, I remember earlier, hit on this. We are actually, with taxpayer dollars, are now trafficking children, and we're paying, paying to get them there on American taxpayer dollars and put them in God knows what and God knows where. And so this, this, the thing that really I think Andy Biggs has mentioned this, Rep Biggs, is, y'all, we've lost 20,000 children. Mallorca said himself in a hearing he does not know where 20,000 of these children are. And that's just staggering to me. So, so Sheriff, have you, as, as you begin, is it mostly heroin and cocaine now and fentanyl, or is it just mostly fentanyl? Unfortunately for uh, Arizona and California right now, we're the worst and the top as far as fentanyl, and below that is methamphetamine. And to address your other comment, uh, what you were looking at is a ploy by the cartels marketing a way to work with Mayorkas on the reunification policy that he put into place. So if you send your child across as a child that's by themselves, then you can be reunified when you come at a later date and time. So the cartels are exploiting every policy that this administration has put into play. And it's almost like they're better at the game than we are, right? I mean, they, they know before we know what's happening. I know that they're talking about the new rules that, that the Biden administration won't enforce, and basically that just adds another step. But my understanding last night, I was talking to one of the border agents, is once the, 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 the illegals, when they cross into the country, they want that MTA, that motion to appear in court. Is that correct? Now, uh, now Mr. Lyons, could you tell me for sure, when, when they get this MTA, does that automatically qualify them for benefits? Yes, it does. So, so you're telling me they, they come into the country, they turn themselves in, and then they get the MTA, and they are qualified for benefits from the American taxpayer? Yes, sir. Do we have any idea how much those benefits run? or how, Any idea? Have you heard that, Mr. Lyons? Up to $800 a month. 800 a month. And so I understand, too, we give them a cell phone. Yes, we Have y'all heard that they, we actually give them a cell phone? My kids would probably rather come across the border, honestly, sometimes. <laughs> Yes, sir. So we give them a cell phone that they can jailbreak and use it however they want. My understanding, go ahead, Lions. I'm waiting. I'm, I want to no, hear no. what you got to say. Well, it was just they give them that phone so that they know where they're at, but we have a 95% failure rate to appear for yeah. those motions. So you mean they take our phones, but they don't take our phone calls? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. Yes. It's the worst date. Man, that does sound like my kids. Yes. <laughs> Now, Doc, one last thing, and then we'll get off, and I'll give Mr. Jordan. I, don't, I didn't have a time over here, Jim. Am I over time? I, you, you're definitely over time. the benefits continue, I'm Mr. definitely Moore. over time. <laughs> but the benefits continue. The chairman go. says I'm definitely over time. Well, you so can Doc, answer last question. Last question, Doc. So 100% of the immigrants, the, the, when you deliver the children, they, you have to give them car seats, I understand. So you, because you're, the federal government requires you. Isn't there some rule that says you, you can't leave, send a child away from the hospital without a car seat? Correct. CMS rule, we cannot do that. So we're buying all the car seats as we send them on the way and paying for all the health care, and you're $26 million in debt, basically. Correct.
black. 